<laughs> Guys, the most amazing thing happened to me today. I got a faulty ZK and I needed to figure out what the hell was wrong with it. But at the same time, it gave me this idea for the video that show you guys something the ZK can do that nobody knows. Um, I've never talked about it, not until now anyway. So I'm gonna take you guys on what happened here and what I did to figure it out and what I'm gonna add to the Patreon on the spreadsheet to do the math. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Okay, so I got my oscilloscope, turn it back on. Okay, and then I got my probe. I did that to do my math, to make sure I was doing everything right. Oh, by the way, this is a double cushion for, uh, for friends of mine, for the husband and the wife. So they're both gonna have that under their pillow. And it's uh, three coils each, and it's for brainwave induction, entrainment, brainwave entrainment, right? And I built a ZK for them, and look at the stupid screen. Look at the numbers I was getting on there. Like, what the hell is going on? Frequencies, um, no percentage down below. This ZK is stuck. If you push the setup, hold it for three seconds, and then you release it, you get on the pulse width modulation system. Um, the pulse width modulation function on this ZK does not work because it's faulty. It's stuck in the pulse width modulation. But I thought I would show it to you guys because it's pretty amazing. So basically what's happening here is this ZK is on for one second and off for two seconds okay and i wired an led to it so you can see it okay and as usual if you turn that off over there nothing happens okay so it's on for one second and off for two seconds now you use the frequency you can lower that we're going to lower that to half a second there half a second now it's on for half a second and off for two seconds but that doesn't tell us what the frequencies and duty cycle is for it which is why i never explain it to people because well it's not that it's hard math it's just it's really precise math and it's really weird right but i made an excel spreadsheet and the Excel spreadsheet, you just punch in the numbers that you have on the screen, and it'll tell you what frequencies and what duty cycle you're at. Or you can punch in the frequency you want and the duty cycle you want, and the spreadsheet will tell you what to set the on time and the off time at. Isn't that funny? Now, you're going to be like, oh, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is if you want 7.83 hertz at a 10% duty cycle, you can do it with the ZK. Okay, so in this one, it's on for one for zero point zero one second and off for half a second. Okay, we don't know what the frequency is with this and nothing like that, but this is what it looks like on the oscilloscope. Remember, guys, we induce a magnetic field every time it gets turned on and every time it gets turned off. So we always get a bipolar field. Okay. Always, 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 always. There's no such thing as unipolar. Um, I mean, many videos on that. So if you have a question, let me know. But you see this, it's working fine. Everything is good. Now, I get asked all the time, can you measure frequencies with an oscilloscope using the probe that you have? The answer is yes, you can. If you know how to use an oscilloscope, you can. Can you measure gauze with that? The answer is yes. If you have a calibrated probe and you know you have measurement, like you have tools to hold onto the probe really precisely, right? At the, if you have an omnidirectional probe, it'll probably be better. I don't know how to make one of those. But like the probe that I make, which is this one right here, right? Works really well. Um, these little guy right here, I'm playing with those right now. I intend to have something else. Um, this could be the ticket to have a homemade probe for that. Anyway, digressing. 
Long story short, yes, you can measure gauze on an oscilloscope. Yes, you can measure uh, frequencies on an oscilloscope too. It just takes a little bit of knowledge and a few tools. The downside of that is the learning curve is steep and the tools can be expensive. Okay, but anyway, I digress. Let's go to the computer. A little spreadsheet I made and you can pick it up on the Patreon there. So the first only enter data in the area where it's light kind of off yellow color greenish yellow so let's say the on time is uh, 1000 millisecond and the off time is 1000 milliseconds that gives you a 50% duty cycle and the frequencies of 0 0.0005 Hertz okay now that is not as sorry that is useful as if you know what frequencies you want right you just don't know what to set your zk at let's say we want 7.83 hertz and we want a duty cycle of five percent then you got to set up your on time at 0 0.064 and then the off time at 0 0.1213 that would give you that frequencies of that duty cycle now that is something else Let's say you have a normal ZK, no one like mine that's broken, and you want that function. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so you have a ZK that is working fine, and then you get it, and you got your percentage right there. You see the set right here? You press on the set and you hold on to it for like 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, there you go, it went up on his own. So it's just more than six seconds, I guess. Okay, so now we're into that mode I just explained to you guys. And the top number is how long it's on, and the bottom number is how long it's off. Okay, and then we can confirm that with the little LED. Midbuster, which magnet shows the most amount of gauze. Watch them. Let me know. Answers coming up. <laughs> that was a trick question. They're both exactly the same, okay? The first one that barely moves is a 1% duty cycle, with the other one is at 50% duty cycle. Same gauze, same coil, same system all together, okay? Remember, your body does not use any more than 0.05% duty cycle. The rest is just generating heat. So, doesn't matter how much a magnet move, doesn't matter any of that, okay? it's. And it doesn't matter about gauze either. It's about the Weber guys. Right? Be safe. See you soon.